Hello everyone, Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog. So a few days ago I went to Sephora and on my list <laughs> was moisturizer and um, concealer and the Jennifer lip gloss from Buxom. And so those were the only things, but then I left with this. Ah, yeah, so that happened. <laughs> um, part of it was because they had the Four points for VIB Rouge, just which I was hoping to use toward the Epic Rewards, and I'm not even gonna go into that because we'll be here for days. But if you were one of the five people who were able to get in on the Epic Rewards, congratulations, good for you. The rest of us are kind of crabby about it, myself included. So let's go through this haul. I'm gonna start with the restocks. Let's see. The first thing is Clarins Multi Active Day Cream. This cream I love and I use, I've been using it for, I don't know, two or three years. On and off mostly, but I always come back to it because it's the um, multi-active day cream. It's early wrinkle correction cream and it's $59. And I like how it smells mostly. It's just like, I don't know, kind of got that floral sort of like comforting scent that you, you get when you like hug your aunt one of the older ladies like at a family party. Anyway, I like it. It's very hydrating for me. It doesn't break me out. I love how it layers under makeup. And um, yeah, cause you know how some moisturizers sort of pill and they like sort of lift up, this one doesn't. And I hope that it's making a difference in terms of early wrinkle correction. I don't know, I just turned 40. I think it's doing, I, I hope that this is somewhere, <laughs> somewhat up in the mix. Um, anyways. So got a refill for that. I also had to refill the this NARS concealer, which I love. This is the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I got it in Biscuit, and I wear this underneath my eyes. This is um, $29, and whew, there's the NARS logo. <laughs> and this is a badass concealer, man. This is the only one I've used, you know, I, I I, I fall in love with stuff and then I fall out. I don't fall out of love, I just get distracted. But this is something that ever since I came out, I always go back to this concealer. It is full coverage. It sits on the skin beautifully. It doesn't, um, it doesn't crease, but the trick is you have to just use it very sparingly because I've noticed that if I put too much, that's when it creases because it's so potent and so powerful and it looks very pretty when it is gently blended in with a wet beauty blender brush. Speaking of beauty blender brushes, I needed a new one, so I got a new one. I have a black one, I haven't opened it yet. Because my old one, I swear to you, it looks like a pack of hyenas got a hold of it and have been using it for a chew toy for like eight months. I looked at it the other day and I was like, why is there a big old chunk? It looks like somebody bit like straight up into this beauty blender, so I thought it was time to get a new one. So I got basic black, which I think is cool. And I hope it doesn't show um, the, the makeup I have a pink one right now. I hope it doesn't like show up on this one as much as my other one. And on that note, I also ended up getting this Beauty Blender Solid um, Cleanser. This is $16. I think it was my friend Marisol who recommended this. Marisol, was that you? I'm not sure. Anyways, this is $16. And I usually use Dr. Bronner's soap to clean my Beauty Blender and my brushes, which Dr. Bronner's, I'm not kidding, such a gem. It's, I get the bar soap and I just put the brushes in there and I like rinse it off, you get the uh, lather and then rinse it off and it, it clears everything and it's awesome. But you know, I, I'm just curious. So I picked this up, it's a little bit expensive, it's $16, but I figured it's a solid, I can make it work. And if I just use it for my beauty blender, then that'll be fine. I still haven't broken into it yet, so we'll see. I have high hopes for it. So those are the new things. Oh, there's one more new thing. Um, yeah. Oh, Bumble and Bumble, don't blow it hairstyle. Styler. Styler, yeah. Hairstyler. This is $30. This is another recommendation. I think one of the gals from the comments mentioned that she loved this in the blog, so I wanted to try it. This is a styling cream, and what you do is you apply it to wet hair after you've washed it, and then you can put other stylers on top of it, and the idea is that it you allow your hair to air dry and this cream helps it look as though you uh, used a blow dryer or heat to style your hair. And I used this um, the other night because I may, the other night, I may or may not be on day three of this hair. And when I washed it, 
washed it in the evening, I put some of this stuff in, and I let it dry for a bit, and then I looked in the mirror before I went to bed, and I thought, hmm, okay, yeah, there's a little bit less frizz. I don't know if it looks like somebody went in with a T3 and a round brush, but whatever, we'll work with it. And in the morning, I woke up, and it was a little less frizzier than usual, I guess. I saw a little bit of a difference. Granted, I don't know if I saw a $30 difference, but I'm going to try it out a few more times, and hopefully it'll rock my world. So far, it's okay. Uh, it smells a little bit like hard candy, like vanilla hard candy. And the sea. I know it's a weird combination, but that's what it smells like. So this has been yet to determine whether or not I will keep it. Okay, what else is up in the mix? Oh, also hair related. This huge comb. It's pink. The teeth are big. I don't know. I've been needing a new comb to just sort of like use in the shower to get, I'm, I'm growing my hair out. And this I figured would help like, let me get the conditioner through. And in the morning, like when I wanted to gently sort of comb my hair, but not like give it a big major brush cause I have wavy hair. And sometimes when I use like a major brush, brushing with like a, a real deal brush, it disturbs the waves and it just makes it look frizzier. And I figured that ah, this would be great. And plus it's pink, it's kind of easy like that. So yeah, eight bucks, very cool. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so this last thing, I think this last thing, oh no, that's not the last thing. There's a second to the last thing. This is the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation in BD50. Now this was 60 big ones, Urgh, which kind of killed me. I've been using Tear Skin Nude all summer, but, and I, I still like it very much. The color though, I feel is a little red and it's, which is fine for me in the summertime. But I, as we move into like winter and fall, the red tones in my skin don't show up as much. And I was, I've been very interested in this foundation because the texture seems similar to um, Dior Skin Nude Air, but they have more options for skins with yellow undertones. It has the same liquidy feel and it's got this unusual dropper thingamabobber. And it just glides across the skin. And um, yeah, it's really pretty. I like the consistency. It's very lightweight, very almost watery. And I tried it, I think once the other day. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. I think I need to work with it a little bit more, uh, mostly because I felt like I had to use more of it compared to the Dior Skin Nude Air. The Dior Skin Nude Air, it's like, you literally just have to use a few drops and, you get complete coverage. This I felt like I had to use a lot of it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to wear it a few more times, but I'm very excited at the process, but part of me hopes that I don't fall in love because honestly, who needs to fall in love with another $60 foundation? And while, oh, while I was there, I was also looking at this new YSL uh, primer. It looked amazing. It had these like little gold balls in it and it was clear. And when you rubbed it into the skin, you'd get like just the tiniest little bit of reflection, but I thought, you know, I am, I'm the last person who needs another primer. I'm, I've been using and loving the Makeup Forever one. It's called Smoothing Base, I think. It's in the gray tube. That one's my jam right now. It's really great if you have pores and you just want to smooth everything down. It's, girl, seriously, it's like spackle. Everything that you put on top will just be like smooth and wonderful. Okay, last but not least. So it would not be a stop to the beauty store unless I got something involving <laughs> <gasps> facial hair removal. I don't know what it is. It's like whenever I see these like facial hair removal doodads, it's, I, I can't, I can't look away. It's like those freaking, um, possession movies where somebody gets like, I don't know, possessed by a demon and I have to sit there and watch it. I don't, it's just so weird. Anyway, so this one is by Tweezerman and it's got like this weird shape. So it kind of looks like something you'd use in the kitchen, but apparently, or I don't know, like you use it to work out. Uh, anyways, it apparently you like put it up against your upper lip or wherever you want to remove the hair and then move the knobs and it takes the hair off. I haven't built up the courage to try it yet. So we'll see. Oh my God, look at that. Can you see that? It's moving back and forth, back and forth. We'll see how this one goes. I'm very weirdly fascinated by this. Hopefully it works, it may go back, so, but we'll see. Anyways, Sephora haul, hey, sometimes you have to treat yourself, right? Um, 
I'll let you know if any of these are like the new things are holy grails. Hoping this might be, hoping I'll fall in love with this soon. And who knows? Who knows? I have high hopes for this as well. Okay, guys. Thank you again for watching. Oh, one more thing before I go. This top, I... While I was at Sephora, Sephora happens to be next to Target. Um, I found this at Target for like $22. It's by Massimo. I think it's... You don't have to... It's like just a basic black top. I like that it was lightweight and I like the detailing on here. Um, so anyways, thank you again for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.